the previous example showed how useful um, non-dimensionalizing an equation can be. Um, more to that point, um, when we apply that analysis to the Navier-Stokes equations, um, numerous um, things show up. And in general, for any um, sort of PDE, the, one of the key points is to identify which terms in an equation are uh, more important than others. And uh, so some of the reasons we do non-dimensionalization is that one, it provides us with a systematic way, systematic way to determine to determine which terms which terms are either small. small compared to others, compared to other, and be important and must be kept. So there's a very important point to make here. It is one thing to non-dimensionalize the equation, non-dimensionalize, analyze the equation by um, a, a dimensional scale. But you can only make judgment calls on which terms are larger than others if and only if, only if scale is chosen appropriately appropriately for the flow so for example you're doing flow in a nano channel it doesn't make sense to choose a length scale that's the size of the building in which you're doing the experiment although the equations will be non-dimensional but the terms are not going to be guaranteed to be um, properly balanced okay so that's one of the key things to realize when you're doing um, dimen dimensional analysis. So non-dimensionalization will take a dimensional term and make it dimensionless. But if you choose the scale appropriately, then non-dimensionalization plus proper scale plus proper scale will give you what's called normalization which means terms can be compared to each other okay now some of the other benefits of non-dimensionalization or normalization is you express the results express results broadly in general terms you don't have to refer to a specific or particular length scale or particular problem. Okay, so you can say, oh, viscous terms are important here because the Reynolds number is small, for example, or we can neglect viscous forces because the Reynolds number is large, and we'll see how that shows up in the equations. Okay, and three helps you determine how to scale experimental results how to scale models and compare model to, uh, scale models and compare experiments and four can be helpful can be helpful numerically because all the terms now have been properly scaled so we expect their orders to be um, manageable and which would help in the possibility of reducing ground off errors, etc.